Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a state choropleth map in R. This is the map that we'll create. It shows 2012 state population estimates. A choropleth map is a map that shows regions, such as states, and expresses values for those regions using color. This tutorial has four parts. In part one, I'll explain how to install and load the necessary packages. In part two, I'll explain the data and functions we'll be using. In part three, we'll make the maps. In part four, I'll show you how to learn more. Here I have the RStudio development environment loaded. We'll be using the Choropleth R and Choropleth R Maps packages to make our maps. To install these packages, type install.packages Choropleth R Choropleth R Maps. Here you can see the packages installing. When the installation is finished, you can see the packages present in the packages window. Now type library choropleather and library choropleather maps to load the packages. Now you can see that the packages are checked in the packages window. To make a choropleth map, you need data. The choroplether package comes with a data set of 2012 state population estimates. To see it, type question mark DF pop state. That will bring up help for this data set. To load the data set, type data df pop state. To see the first few elements of the data set, type head df pop state. Now you can see the first few elements of the data set. To make the map, we'll use the function state choropleth. Type question mark state choropleth to see the help file for this function. Now we can make maps. Type state choropleth df pop state to make our first map. Notice how the map appears in the Plots window. We can add a title and legend to our plot by using the title and legend parameters. By default, choropleather maps use seven quantiles. That is, there are seven colors, and each color has the same number of regions. We can change the number of quantiles used with the num colors parameter. If we set num colors to 2, then we'll see which states have a population above and below the median. To use a continuous scale, set num colors to 1. This is useful for seeing outliers in the data. Here we can see that California and Texas have a population much larger than other states. To learn more about mapping data in R, you can take my free email course, Learn to Map Census Data in R. 
you can sign up at www.arielamstein.com slash free course. The course will teach you how to make publication quality maps in R. It has five easy lessons where you can learn to map states, counties, and zip codes. It will teach you how to map key statistics such as population, race, income, and more. In addition to that, it is completely free. 